This video will show how to download a .docx file, how to convert that to a Google document, how to change it into a PDF, and then how to upload that PDF to submit an assignment in Schoology. This is for MacBook, Windows, and Chromebook users. I have an assignment here, and it has an attachment. Okay. I'll click on the attachment and it will download the assignment. I want to know where this assignment is, so I will show what folder it's in. And I see it's in my downloads folder right here. I want to move that file into my class Google Drive folder. If you haven't already done so, you would need to log into your Google Drive and then access your class folder. In this case, I already have. To add something to my class folder, once I'm in my class folder, I go to this Upload button and I'm going to upload the file. Recall that the file was in the Downloads folder. I'm going to scroll down to the assignment. In this case, it was called Example Assignment for the original and open. I'll get a dialog box. Sorry about that. Dialog box off to the side that indi indicates the status and that has been uh, the upload has been completed. Thank you very much. Um, I see the uh, file is here. Notice the icon in front indicates that it is a Microsoft Word document. We want to convert this to a Google document. The icon for Google documents is the blue square with the horizontal lines. To convert my file, I will click on the, ample, the example assignment.docx and you'll see that I have an image of the assignment. I'll go to open up here. It'll open an image of the uh, file, but now i see that this has changed to open with. I will go down here, Google document, and when I click this, hold on a moment, I'll see it's converting. It's this little uh, pause here, it takes a few moments, and now it's opened as a Google document. Let me expand out the window a bit here. Take a look at this, we end up seeing the, uh, the blue uh, rectangle with the horizontal lines in the upper left hand corner, indicating that it is a uh, Google document. I'm going to change the name of this. I'll modify the name of this uh, document by clicking on the uh, name here. And depending on your teacher's preference, please check. They may ask you to put a name along with your assignment file name. Notice that's changed up here. As a check, I'll go back to my class folder and I see I have both my original example document dot docx, sorry, my example assignment dot docx, and then my newly created Google document. Notice the icon here. Example assignment dash J Murphy. Back over to my example assignment. I can now enter uh, the data for my assignments. I'm going to put my name. Okay, I'm going to go over here to my block, perhaps in block 8, date today. Sorry about that. Okay, response. Maybe I'm looking at colors blue. Response 2. Maybe it was red. Okay. Something else to notice. Uh, up over here, it'll tell you the status of the document in the Google Drive. As I make a change to the document, you'll notice this will say uh, saving. Uh, once those uh, uh, changes have been saved, then it will have the same note about all changes saved in Drive. I'm going to add in, let's say we are flipping coins. It came out heads five times, came out tails two times, and on the edge, unlikely zero. Okay. As I do that notice, it's saying saving. Now all those, uh, save, all those changes have been saved. Trial two. Three came out heads, three uh, came out on tails, and we were flipping this coin, one landed on the edge. I'll wait till it uh, finishes 
uh, saving all changes saved in Drive. Once I'm done with the document, I'm ready to hand it in. I'm going to save it as a PDF, which stands for a public document format. It's a format that makes it very readable. I go to File, and in Google Documents, the way we uh, create a PDF is go to Print. And our destination we want to set as Save as PDF. If your destination is something other than that, just go to Change, and you can select Save as PDF. And I'll save the document now. I'll get a dialog box here. Always likes to put a little Google document at the end of that. I'm going to get rid of that information. And then I'm going to go back over to my Google Drive and my class folder. Here it goes. And I'll save it in the class folder. Let me go back over to the class folder, checking it up here, and I see I have my original uh, example assignment .docx. I've got my Google document, the assignment example assignment dash J Murphy, and then I have my PDF version. I know that because of the file extension .pdf, and also a little symbol out here. Sometimes they're also known as Adobe Acrobat files. Now I want to submit this to my uh, let's see to Schoology uh, and my assignment. On the right side, you'll see something that will say Submit Assignment. I've practiced this a couple of times, so I have something that says Res Resubmit Assignment. I'll click here. I see it says Upload, which is what I want to do, and I want to upload a file. I click here, and I select. I go back to my class file, Google Drive, Science, Physics, and now I look for that assignment. Again, notice the symbol here looks a lot like the one we had in our uh, folder. Okay, And as I was saying before, the PDF is also known as Adobe Acrobat file. I click that, open, it loads the assignment. You can see it's uh, loading. While it's doing uh, that, I can end up uh, putting some particular comment. If I was asked to, um, let's see, make a revision or um, do something on the lab, I could put that in uh, here. It says, so I might have a note that says, okay, um, here's my uh, new lab with new data, something like that. And I submit. When I submit, once it's been submitted, I see that I get a confirmation over here knowing that Schoology has received it. And so here are the steps to uh, create um, a, a Google document, convert it to a PDF, and then submit it to Schoology. Feel free to pause on that if you want, want to see the step-by-step -step instructions listed on your screen.